Uh, thank you for coming today. Uh, I'm Yoshihiro Yono, my at Hitachi Limited. Uh, I'll talk about uh, integrated trace using virtual trace for virtualization environment. Okay, the, um, this is today's agenda. Uh, first, I'll talk about uh, what integrated trace is, and then uh, I'll talk about uh, architecture of uh, integrated trace. Uh, at that time, um, uh, I talk about my first attempt, and that, but uh, this attempt was not uh, attempt, uh, adapted as a result. And, uh, and I'll talk about the current architecture, uh, which has uh, uh, four features, and, uh, and uh, I'll conclude this presentation. First, I, I'll talk about uh, what the integrated trace is. Uh, integrated trace uh, is a trace merging system for virtualization environment. And integrated trace uh, uses F-trace, uh, which is uh, in kernel, which is an in-kernel tracer. Uh, if you use the application, you use this trace merge interface. Uh, the tracing data is also integrated. And trace CMD is a common tool for F-trace. Integrated trace uh, merges multiple tracing data uh, for, of multiple guests and uh, the host. The, and the integrated trace merges tracing data in chronological order. Uh, who can benefit from this system? Uh, I think uh, crowd vendors, system vendors, apart from engineers and developers can benefit from this system. So the, I, as I said, uh, uh, integral trace for a virtualization environment. And uh, but, uh, it is uh, difficult to, why do we need to merge tracing? Because uh, it is difficult to analyze performance uh, problems on the guest. For example, uh, it is on delay problem, uh, I request on the guest. And normally, a guest and the host share hardware devices. Uh, CPUs, so memories, so disk, uh, NIC, something like that. And uh, guests and the host, so the guests and the host can compete with each other for resources. Uh, this is very uh, in, uh, interesting point that uh, we need to analyze tracing data of multiple guests and the host, even if the problem occurred on a guest. Uh, this is an example. Uh, a guest occupies one CPU core, and the real-time application on the guest is sometimes delayed, uh, but the memory is sufficient. The application does not issue any I.O. requests, and uh, other applications are not scheduled at the same time. So the, uh, we replicated this problem in cyclic test, which is a uh, test program for real-time tendency. Uh, the command is right, like this. And the uh, procedure of cyclic test is uh, first uh, get current time on real-time cyclic test process A, and uh, number two, the nano sleep on A, and the context switch to another process B. Uh, it's a normally the idle process. And uh, after finishing switch time, we wake up A up, and then context switch to A and go back to past procedure. And next, uh, we define the wake up latency as follows, uh, like this expression. And, uh, but sometimes wake up latency becomes big on the guest. Uh, normally, uh, the wake up latency is about uh, 0.3 milliseconds, but sometimes uh, 3.5 milliseconds. So the, uh, we research this problem. Uh, this is uh, uh, trace data of uh, on uh, only guest, only one guest, and uh, we set nano sleep time is uh, uh, two milliseconds. And uh, the blue case, blue box is a uh, uh, normal case. The, the the sleep time is about two milliseconds. But uh, uh, the for red case, it's anomaly case. It's uh, 
but five millisecond is this difference. So the, we resolve this problem. Now, so the, the we adapt apply the integrate trace. Now we set uh, the events uh, for these events for host OS, and uh, we set these events for the guest OS. Uh, I'll talk about this event uh, uh, later. And uh, we, I mer we merge the trace data of the guest on the, and the host. And then uh, when guests up, wake up, latency becomes delayed, uh, what would happen? And uh, for easy uh, understanding, uh, we use the time doctor, which is a, a visualizing tool for trace executions. Uh, we set, uh, uh, I, I said, uh, we set a uh, nano sleep time of two milliseconds. Uh, if nano sleep time exceeds three milliseconds, the color will be yellow, like this, and normally blue. And uh, normally the two milliseconds is blue, but uh, the anomaly case is for five milliseconds is uh, yellow. And, uh, and uh, in the, from this picture, the, the the reason why the the delay is uh, uh, induced by the host OS. So the uh, I, I show the the details in the from the trace data. The the green box is a uh, host OS uh, trace data, and uh, the the G is a guest OS trace data, and uh, the in the host trace data, the, I, the flash process uh, takes took time the 3.3 milliseconds. So the, uh, we switch this the flash process to another CPU with the performance is not needed. Yeah, but uh, we set up uh, integrated integrated trace using specific tools, and uh, we collect trace data via network by using specific tools, um, my trace data with our script, uh, make time doctor format, so it is an individual format. And uh, but the integrate trace is using F-trace, and the trace CMD has a lot of features, you know, collecting trace data in a row overhead, analyze to kernel shark. So the, uh, we thought uh, improving feature of trace CMD is better. So the, I talk about the architecture of integrated trace using trace CMD. Uh, I, first, I talk about my first attempt. But, uh, we did not adopt this uh, method as a result. Uh, the use, uh, we use a trace agent supported from 3.6. Uh, trace agent is stored in this path. And, uh, Trace agent sends trace data from uh, F-trace buffer to butter your share by using sprite. Uh, F-trace supports sprite read with F of speed, and butter share supports sprite write. And so the, the trace agent using sprite uh, uh, cannot, uh, sorry, no. uh, trace agent uh, using sprite uh, don't need to, uh, ah, sorry, uh, Trace agent uh, can send uh, the to the trace agent can send the trace data of the guest to the host without memory copying by using sprite. <coughs> and we we named the, this system is uh, Bata Trace. And uh, we added uh, an IPFS server feature to trace agent. Uh, uh, also, trace CMD records trace data as a binary. Uh, trace CMD needs debug FS information in order to convert binary data to text data. Uh, in order to uh, read debug FS information of the guest on the host, uh, the host mounts debug FS uh, of the guest on the host via 9P. Uh, this is an overview of my first attempt. A trace agent has uh, uh, two big features, an IPFS server and a trace read write. And uh, 
Then the trace CMD uh, access the debug FS, uh, debug FS of the guest via 9PFS client. And, uh, and then the trace CMD records trace data uh, as a binary file. But uh, this is a not good design, unfortunately. Uh, this is because uh, a lot of small packets uh, exchanged between 9PFS client and the 9PFS server in a short time. Uh, though then hundreds of packets flow the, by just using the, the ARS command on the file system. And, uh, and so the, it induces a lot of memory copying, a lot of guest host switches. And so the, uh, uh, we should not use 9PFS in order to get the back FS information. So the let's redesign. Uh, the, I said, as I said, uh, uh, the main disadvantage is the excessive small packet exchange between guest and the host. So the, we need debug, but we need debug FS information on the guest. The, the trace CMD already has the feature which trace CMD server uh, corrects debug FS information and the trace data from another machine client via network. So we reuse this feature. And uh, trace CMD uses sprites and when it collects trace data on the machine. Okay, then we run not trace agent, but trace CMD client on the guest for a virtualization environment. This is a desired architecture of integrated trace. First, trace CMD client uh, uh, communicate with the trace CMD server, and then the uh, trace CMD client sends the trace data uh, via uh, butter share, and then trace CMD server output binary file, and then the uh, trace CMD uh, merge trace data, this data. First, uh, I'll talk about this uh, uh, trace CMD client uh, sends, to, sends the trace data of the guest to trace CMD server. And the server and the client, uh, uh, the, the first improvement, improvement is server and client for virtualization environment. Trace CMD has the sending trace data feature via network. Uh, for example, the uh, trace CMD record and uh, record with an option, so the, this is a client, and uh, first same to listen with P option, this is, this is a server. And uh, using network will be a high cost operation because uh, there are uh, many IP network stack layers like this. And so the, we can use battery trace system from kernel 3.6. Uh, battery trace system uh, sends trace data of the gas to the host by using sprite with uh, F of steel via battery serial. And so the uh, trace CMD uh, does not need to pass uh, uh, IP network stack layers by using battery serial. And uh, if the client uh, of the guest uses butter share, the server also needs to support uh, butter share interface. Now I sent up uh, the uh, purchase uh, in, uh, in this address. Uh, now how to use, uh, I, I skip this. And uh, I measured uh, the CPU usage of trace CMD client on the guest. And uh, the, for when we use the network, the client, uh, the CPU usage is about 2.9%. But uh, when we use the battery trace, the, the client, the client CPU usage is about 1.7%. So the overhead of battery trace is lower than that of network. And uh, second, uh, I'll talk about this uh, uh, message. The, 
the second improvement point is structured message platform. Uh, uh, current clients uh, ser and servers are using network, uh, sends uh, or receives unstructured string, string messages, but uh, it is hard to add complex content in the protocol. Make the client machine change events or make the client machine get first data from snapshot buffers or something like that. So the, uh, I, 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 improve, I, I implemented structured message platform and I sent patches. Uh, I changed the message of network and then introduced client server which uses uh, battery share for virtualization environment. When I sent uh, RSC patch set, Steven said, uh, I'm a sticker for backward compatibility. So the first patch set uh, was uh, rejected. And as he mentioned, the message of network uh, in my first patch set did not skip backward compatibility. And the trace CMD must support all clients and the servers even if the, we introduce the structured message. So, but now, the, the, in these patches, the new old client can connect to the old news or new servers by keeping backward compatibility. Now, in this, in this platform, the, the trace chimney supports eight messages, connection messages, connection cross message, and initial message, and send the backreference information and finish to send it and the error message. Now, the other message will be implemented in the near future. Next, I'll talk about this first CMD client again. So third improvement point is the uh, agent feature of client. Uh, current client can operate only in record mode, so the the, the client will send the uh, trace data immediately when run. And uh, so when a user tries to connect trace data of multiple guests on the host, the user must log into the each guest. So the client has better support uh, agent mode which receives a message from the server and takes an action. For example, the the trust CMD uh, are waiting the, for a message from the server, and the trust CMD servers uh, send a message, for example, the uh, please send trace data, and then the trust CMD receives the, the message and the take action. In this example, the send trace data to the server. And, uh, I'm developing this agent feature, so the interface may change. That's the, First, run trace CMD with part agent on the guest, and the host user can send commands to the server, which will send communication message to the agent. And maybe the guest user can also communicate with the agent with the same format. And uh, oh, finally, the, I talk about the uh, margin trace data feature. Uh, the fourth improvement is the uh, margin of virtualization environment. Uh, trace data in chronological order. And current trace CMD can merge multiple trace data uh, if trace CMD records trace data with date option. And for machine A1, a trace CMD record write this command, and then the machine 2 uh, uh, execute this command, and then the trace CMD report uh, this with this command, and then the uh, the trace one dot and trace two, two dot uh, will be merged. Uh, the date option records the all roll clock in trace that. Trace that is the uh, output file of trace CMD and with uh, get time of day. And But the uh, uh, time of those machines uh, must be in sync by MTP. But, uh, uh, the, this uh, date option has uh, two programs to apply it for uh, virtualization environment. Uh, first, uh, there are no guarantees that guests have the same work clock. Uh, when we, when we, the multiple get users can run on the virtualization environment, 
for example, the multiple tenant cloud hosting service. Uh, they will use the different NTP server, right? And the first, the second point is trace data cannot be perfectly merged. The NTP synchronized time guarantee may not be for enough for certain guest host switching events. So the, uh, we think uh, TSC is useful for merging. And FRS supports x86 TSC out timestamps from 3.8, and the guests ex can execute native RTTSC instruction, and TSC of recent x86 CPUs is constantly incremented. So that we don't know, we don't worry about the pace of timestamp. And, uh, and but the TSC uh, TSC value of guests is not equal to the TSC host, but the TSC host plus TSC offset. Now, when we merge trace data using TSC, the TSC offset value uh, sensor uh, stored in VMCS is needed. The, the trace event uh, KVM write TSC offset uh, where I, I send the patch was uh, supported from 3.11, so this is a very new uh, feature. And uh, the, in the KVM write TSC offset event, the, this, uh, this information will be outputted. A VCPU and the previous time offset, and the, uh, t sorry, previous t TSC offset, and the next TSC offset. Now, if the previous TSC offset is zero, it's an uh, it's initial value. And uh, this is a new, new uh, value of TSC offset. And uh, but the KVM write TSC offset is a very uh, normally a rare event. Uh, this event is uh, output when the guest boot uh, TSC becomes unstable and TSC goes back. And uh, when we use the recent x86 CPUs, the reasons of the event may be boot of the guest. Uh, when I we when I use uh, uh, AMD CPUs, uh, the uh, TSC uh, we go back uh, uh, the, so the, the this event very the output uh, a lot of the output is past the, the maybe the recent x eighty six CPUs the the reason is uh, maybe the the guest boot and the trace CMD will enable the event in another buffer on the host. Uh, multiple buffers of FRS were supported from three point ten. And the trace CMD will output the result without consuming the data in the buffer when trace CMD cross trace data. Uh, the trace data in the buffers are normally consumed when trace CMD reads trace data because it uses trace pipe row. Trace pipe row is a, a consuming interface. So uh, I conclude this uh, presentation. Uh, Margin trace data of guests and the host is uh, important for analyzing any problems on guests. And uh, integrate trace uses following recent kernel features F, uh, for F trace, x86 TSC, and spread speed with steel, and but a serial spread light, and the KBM light TSC offset event, and the multiple buffers of F trace. In order to realize uh, integrate trace for trace CMD, there are four improvements, uh, server and client for virtualized environment, structured message platform, agent features, uh, margin features, and uh, one and two features uh, already, already have been submitted to LKML, and but three and four will be submitted in the near future. Okay, thank you. Any, any questions? Any questions? No? Okay, thank you. <laughs>